All right, so basically the job we're going to right now, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of stuff around the house if they haven't moved it yet. But the worker's there right now, my worker, he's a new worker. He's been working for us for like three days now. So we'll get there, kind of just make sure he's doing a good job, make sure it looks good, say what's up, and then get to like training him. All right, so we're out here doing a house wash. As you can see, it's dirty as hell. It needs a good cleaning. Um, we're not doing any driveway cleaning or patio cleaning or anything like that. It's strictly the siding, which includes the outside of the gutters, outside of the windows, all the siding. And we're basically what that entails is a deep cleaning, which we first soap and then we rinse it all down. So that's what he's doing right now. Um, this house is a little bit of a toughy because all the furniture that we have to get through. So. That's a big challenge there, but we're still making good money. Um, I, I believe we have this job for 500, and under good conditions, it should take 45 minutes, but it's probably gonna take more like an hour, hour and a half, especially since this guy's new. I mean, we're not gonna move all this stuff away from the house, you know, cause we didn't really include that in the price. So we kind of just have to clean around the stuff. And as a perfectionist, I like to make everything look good and you can't make it perfect with all this stuff in the way. So. And this is another problem with all this stuff. I mean, it's hard to get around. Mobility is a big thing when getting a job done quick. So he's, he can't even get through here. I mean, this is just ridiculous. And with all the plants, we gotta be careful with the soap. He's like, yeah, it was clean three years ago. I call Cap. I call Cap. I think. Appreciate it, bro. So like you? <sighs> you know, dude. Just trying, just trying to break a sweat. Absolutely great. Barbara's cutting a check for you right now. Oh, wonderful. So, like, just a gorgeous job. Thank you. Like yeah. Brand new house again. I know it's insane what a little bit of water will do. Well, we're gonna get out of here, but as soon as we get the check, we'll be we'll be gone. Right. So. Can I tip in? Yes, sir, you can. I can? You do, ask him, does he want a tip? Of course you can. <laughs> Let's appreciate it. Give me a second. That was good work. That was a good little job. Really dirty in the back. The front wasn't too bad, but the back was probably the worst part. Overall, it was a good job. I don't think I've, and this is definitely the top three of the worst, dirtiest houses I've ever seen. You've ever seen? Yeah. Yep. So basically, there's some mildew and uh, other growth on the fence on both sides of the property. We're gonna first treat it and then pressure clean it. Uh, it's a pretty easy, easy, simple job. Check how much it's for real quick. Looks like it's for 350, and it should take us about 30 minutes or so. We gotta get the fuck out of here. We're late to the next job. Um, the next customer's mad, so we gotta get this shit packed up and roll out. You didn't call me when you were late this morning. Sure. You rescheduled at 1.30. Sure. sure. It was after three o'clock. You didn't call sure. me or tell me anything. I had right. no idea what was going on. I'm, you know, if you'd have called me and said, God, Tim, we are running so behind today. It's crazy. You changed sure. your schedule without asking me if I could right. change my schedule, right? I, this it morning. doesn't revolve around your schedule, sir. You don't have to be here for us to do the work. Well, totally, so but you told me you'd be we, here at 10 o'clock. We, we, we you... can't change our schedule. I mean, I understand the communication you part. You made the schedule with me. I didn't. We can't guess how long a job's gonna take. It always takes different times every time. But so you we, said we never the guy know. that- I rescheduled for two because I knew it was gonna be later. Well, yeah, I understand that, but you didn't right. communicate that to me. When you don't communicate, it's just really super hard for me to trust what's gonna happen here today. Right, I totally understand that. We just got a lot going on. Well, I mean, yeah, I'm trying to I, do everything. I totally understand. You know, I'm, I'm actually, all I'm the I, manager as well as the owner, so it's kind of hard Justin, to fill all both I roles. all I need you to do is to say, hey Tim, this is going on, we're super busy. I'm trying to get the training videos out so we can get some more guys on through the videos. So that's what we were doing today, and that's why I just, I forgot to call. Normally I do call. Wow, you not can, in my you, experience. Well, 
your experience of it is one of just thousands, you know, where I have a lot of Google reviews. Hey, I know, I know, but I'm your, I'm your only customer right now. Yeah. And you're my only service provider right now. However, in the last hour, I've talked to two other service providers about coming and doing this because one guy said, yeah, I'll come over right now and take a look at it. I'm just wondering, can you get this patio done? Yeah, we could, we could get it done today, no problem. All right, so yeah, that guy was pretty pissed off. He was not happy that we didn't tell him that we were gonna be an hour late. So obviously that's my fault, but you know what? I'm running a busy company here. And at the end of the day, it's my service that I'm providing, not my co good communication skills. And we're gonna do it better than any other pressure washing company. So at the end of the day, we're gonna make him happy. He's paying top dollar because he wants quality results. And so even though we were late, you know, we'll wrap this thing up, make sure it looks good, make sure he's happy. And hey, hell, maybe we even might get a review from him. So we'll see. He might change his mind real quick. All right, guys, that's it for the video. The last job there, he was kind of mad, but we got the job anyway. So good looks, we got it done. A popular question I get is, what is like the cheapest way to get started? Um, well, the way I started was basically with like this pressure washer, two gallon per minute pressure washer that I'll have in the bio. So check the link in the description. I'll have all the equipment in there and you guys can get started for um, a little under a thousand bucks. But if you guys borrow one from your parents, you can get, get started for even cheaper. But So make sure to check the link below for all the equipment and also at Washman University where you can learn how to start your own business. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.